All right, microphone check, check to one, three. This here video is dedicated to all the people who are doing the work. Cause baby, at the end of the day, that's how you get real results. And those results are gonna provide you with enough data to go back to the drawing board and make those necessary adjustments to continue moving forward in a very fruitful way. All right, so look, here is the thing that we're gonna be covering today in this video. And that's gonna be how to create two different types of templates. Okay, so one's gonna be like this. So you can get a physical print. This is a four by six with four squares. I came across an issue yesterday while I was trying to make this video and then I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't not figure it out. And so what ended up ha happening and, and it's a, uh, and maybe I'll show you guys a clip of this is I reached out to Snapic on the fly because the prints were coming out like this for the two by two by four. And as you can see, this is not what I was aiming for. And then I was making adjustments and then I came up with something like this and this is not what I was looking for. So uh, after getting a little frustrated because you know time timing to me is, is a very beautiful valuable thing i reached out to Snapic and graham was able to walk me through the steps and i was able to achieve what i was trying to show you guys uh not knowing that i was going to run across these issues so i hope this video adds that much more value to your production and saves you the time and the headache because this channel is for you to either save some money or make more money and i hope this video helps you guys do just that so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a template that's going to be two by six, which is around this size. And I'm also going to be showing you guys how to create templates with like a background like this here. So your photos come out more. Uh, how can I say this? They have a pop to them. And this way, clients fall in love with your production. After that, we're going to put these photos into Snapic and I'm going to show you guys just a few things on how I do it. Now, usually what I was doing for almost every event up to this point here, the December 2023 is I was just doing four by sixes, but every now and then guys, and I really want you to pay close attention to what I'm about to say right now, every now and then you're going to come across a client who seems very picky and that's probably going to push you to improve okay and that's the way you have to frame it sometimes we get clients that love the overlay from the very beginning and are easy to deal with other times you're going to deal with clients who know exactly what they want and they want you to materialize that idea that they have in mind and those are the clients that push you to go beyond what you have learned and really grow as a business owner, as an artist, and as an individual, because it's gonna take patience, it's gonna take communication, and it's gonna take commitment to your craft to provide that client with what they have in mind. Now, once you acquire that, and once you are living your life with that type of attitude, just know that you are gonna get more clientele who are willing to pay more for your services because your level of professionalism and experience is much higher than it was two months back. So don't get frustrated with certain clients, guys, uh, but also, you know, pick and choose who you want to deal with. And sometimes your gut will tell you, like, maybe just let this event go and uh, it's going to be entirely up to you. So use your intuition wisely, and use it often. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. First, what I'm going to do is for the people that are barely getting started in the industry, I'm going to jump into Snapic and create the event, select the templates, and then jump over to Canva and create that design. So you guys have the option to fast forward to that part. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I want to create an event and this is going to be for just the photo booth. I done a, a few videos for the 360 booth, but this one's for the photo booth. All right, and I'm just going to go with the photo right here and I'm going to go to next. Then we're going to call this um, for the homies. Yeah, this you guys are the homies. I'm going to go to next right here. Definitely gonna go printing, okay? Cause this is the most important part of the video, right? Is how are these things gonna print and how does it look on the actual iPad? So what I'm gonna be doing is when I'm done with this part of the process, I am gonna go into the lab and I'm gonna show you guys the prints. I am gonna show you the iPad and how the menu looks like. This way you guys get a full, very in-depth detailed tutorial. That's my goal. This is why I created the channels to show you guys things that I've recently learned or show you guys things that I am doing differently to help with the workflow. So definitely doing the printing and just the airdrop for the sake of the video, because we're going to really focus on the printing aspect. 
All right. And, and by the way, I think it'll be cool if we also do filters because we are doing photos. So I'm going to select filters just like that. And right below in the description box, guys, I have an affiliate link from Snapic that will give you guys 10% off on your subscription. Right here, guys, print options, limit number of prints. I'm going to leave that this as is for now. But keep in mind that you can come in here and limit the number of prints per session. All right. That's, but that's entirely up to you. I usually leave this open uh, just because people are pretty considerate of how many prints they're printing out. However, you always want to gauge it throughout the event. I'm going to go to next. All right. So here's the part where we really got to dial in. So grab your coffees, your teas, your smoothie, whatever it is. And let's go ahead and spend some time right here. So create new template. All right. Right here, guys, it says choose a frame size. There's a six by four. And I'm going to go with the six by four, 1800 by 1200. And in addition to that, I'm going to go with a two by six. And my two by six is going to be uh, 600 by 1800. So let's go ahead and dive into Canva. All right. I use the pro version of Canva and the combination of Canva and Snapic. I'm set to go. As you guys can see, my overlay designer, Diana, she's already created a good amount of overlays for me for this last quarter. So I'll go ahead and put Diana's email. I like, so here's the thing too, guys, if you haven't seen previous videos, so Diana has taken over the overlay and, communi and communicating with my clients. So that saves me hours throughout the week. Those hours become so valuable because they accumulate throughout the month and then throughout the year. So what Diana, my overlay designer does is she'll create the overlay, reach out to the client. If the client loves it, Diana will send me a text message saying the client approved. If they don't love it, she'll deal with the client, go back and forth until the client is happy with the overlay. And that to me saves me a bunch of time. So some along your business, you're gonna wanna hand over some of the duties, some of the things, your to-do list to other people so that you can focus, like I said, on the bigger picture and the longevity and future of your brand, of your business, okay? So just wanna throw that in there really quick. Uh, so right here it says, uh, use five words to describe your design. I'm gonna put a photo, I wanna write photo strip. And as you guys can see, this is so cool because look at how much information I'm able to select from uh, just by typing in photo strip. So actually, I love the, the colors on this. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one and then I'm going to go to customize this template. All right. And now what I want to do is I want to come over here where it says magic switch and I want to go to custom size and I want to do the uh, the two by six. That's what I want, the two by six. So I'm going to hit continue. And then I'm going to go to resize this design. Okay, so there was just a small tweak, but there it is. It's good to go. So now what I can do is I can actually export this right away. And then I can show you guys how these photos are going to look. So these photos I'm not going to use. So I'm going to remove them like this. But I'm going to show you guys exactly how it's going to look like within the Snapic software. So I'm just gonna go ahead and export this strip right here and I'm just gonna go to share. And this is a little different guys in comparison to the 360 booth overlay, you're not gonna hit transparent background. You're simply just gonna hit download and it's gonna download for us. Okay, so that one is completed. Uh, I now I took the time to break it down just a little bit, but this only took a few seconds. All right, so now we're gonna go back to, um, we're gonna go back home here. And now we're going to type in, uh, let's see if I type in four, five, six, photo. Let's see. Let's see. Anything that really pops and stands out. Something Thanksgiving really pops out. This one is somewhat pops out. Let's see. I want something uh, that's nice and loud. This is nice. Let me see if I go back up and I type in, I'm going to go back and I'm going to type in four by six foot. Let me see if that does anything differently. I, I'm always exploring with some of these tools. I don't do it as much anymore because I finally hired a, a solid designer. I'm going to go ahead and put her email in the description box below for you guys. So here, here's another thing that you guys can do. You guys can just, instead of putting the four by six, you guys can put, let's say, uh, you know, summer's kind of going to be coming up pretty soon. So say we put like summer vibes. And you're gonna get something like this. 
All right, so now what I can do is I'll grab this, for example, and I'll go to customize this template. And then we're gonna come back to where it says magic switch. And this time we're gonna do the uh, six by four, right? So it's gonna be the, it's gonna be wider. So I'm gonna go to resize this design just like we did earlier. And this is actually what the space that we have to work with. Now I can delete this. I can get summer vibes, put this right here. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to make this part just really short. You guys can come here and get super creative. So I'm just gonna write summer vibes just like that. Now, if I want vibes to overlap summer, then I just go where it says position and then move to the move forward. Now vibes is in on the, in, the, in, the, in the front, but I'm gonna go back there. All right, cool. So this is gonna be the four by six, six by four. All right. Now I'm gonna come right over here and I'm gonna go to download. And again, guys, I'm not gonna do transparent background, but pay attention to this detail right here, 1800 by 1200, all right? I'm gonna hit download. Fantastic. Now I'm gonna come over to Snapic and we're gonna go ahead and enter the one we just did, which was 1800 by 1200, six by four. Now I'm gonna to go to upload background and it's right here. So I'm gonna grab it and it's gonna upload really fast because I've upgraded my MacBook to an M3. Uh, and even though I have my interface connected, my audio set connected, my phone streaming and all kinds of stuff, the M3 has really helped me with my workflow, especially in the editing process when it comes to editing 4K videos. So that's what I have now. And now we can add the frame, right? So if I add the frame, I can add multiple frames, but the ones I like doing is the one that has four frames and I'll show you how that looks like. So I can, I can do this, right? Or I can just go to the side and make it longer if I want to, see that? So given the amount of space I have, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep it around this size. And look at how much freedom I have to move this wherever I want. Okay, so then after this, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna duplicate the frame. And I know that some of you guys are gonna take over and do way better than I'm doing right now. Uh, and that's because it, it, it works a lot better when you're enthusiastic about it and you actually have time to really get creative. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate the frame just to keep them all the same size. I can go here and just put duplicate again. And again. Now this right here is not appealing because it's this, it's being blocked, right? So what, I, what I'll do is I just do this right here, which is pretty cool because you can do different photos and it'll look like a collage, which I think is pretty, pretty cool too, depending on the client's uh, taste. So something like this. This is where the photo is going to go. All right, so this is cool. But since we're on this, and I'll show you actually on the next one, but for now I'm gonna hit save and save and then it's going to save for us and it's going to be a single overlay so what i love about this is it actually shows you how it's going to look in real life after this step is done i'm going to come over to edit and when i come over to edit this is what uh, the options that we're going to have now the countdown is very important i like setting it anywhere from four seconds to five seconds however if I'm at a homecoming or a prom and the line is super long, I want them to get their poses super quick. So I usually have it at three and that second will make a difference. But um, so for the sake of the video, I'm just going to do two seconds because when we go into the lab and take these photos, I don't want to have you guys waiting too long for the next photo. So I'm going to hit save like this. And it's going to save that for me. Now let's go ahead and handle the two by six. So I'm going to create a new template again. And I know that you guys are probably already caught up, but same thing, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go to two by six. And remember it was 600 by 1800. Select that and then upload background. And here, here it is. I used to have a teacher, um, he used to say, uh, cause we did everything Zoom during COVID and he'd be like, here it is. So the frame is right there. I'm gonna keep it maybe around this size, maybe a little bit smaller just so we can get some a little bit of the borders to pop more. Maybe more than that, Dave. Maybe a little bit wide, or maybe a little bit a chunk here, or taller, whatever you want. Whatever you want to call it, mate. Let's see. 
And I've seen some really cool designs where they have like a neon border within this photo. I'm sure eventually I'll learn how to do it. But like I said, I'd rather have my overlay designer Diana do it uh, so that I, like I said, I can do other things. So duplicate frame and put it right in the center for us. So this is what I wanted to tell you earlier. So you can center or you can do it a horizontal and this will this will shift around. So this should be frames vertically. See what happened? This should be frames horizontally. See that? But I want to do them right in the center like that and put this bad boy back in its place. Uh, if if Snapic is watching this, it would be really cool if just like on Canva, when I'm moving this around, if it can show us lines going right down the middle, showing us that it's right in the center. So that would be a super cool, uh, just, you know, little guidance tool if Snapping can add that for us. I think that's a cool suggestion, right? And then I'm going to go to duplicate the frame. I'm going to put it right there. All right. So it looks like this is going to be it right there. Cool. Now I'm going to go to save. Same thing. It's going to take us to the next uh, single overlay and I'm going to hit save again. Once we're here, I'm going to go to edit. And also two seconds for every pose and hit save. After that, we're just going to wait a few seconds. Um, if you guys are enjoying this video so far and like the pace, uh, please hit the like button, guys. That, that's going to help me with my channel, which means I'll be able to reach out to more people in the world just because the algorithm is kind of the way it works so far. It might change. So this I'm going to leave alone. And then I'm going to go to next. So earlier when we selected filters, I thought it was a good idea because if we come over to where it says guest filters and I go to select, people will be able to select a beauty filter. They'll be able to select a K-dash filter. They'll be able to select any filter I check right now. And quite honestly, the most popular ones I use almost for every event is going to be the beauty five filter and the K-dash filter. And sometimes even the cool to cool one right here. The beauty plus, I think it's just going to make it too cartoonish, but hey, you never know what the client wants. But we're going to stick to these two, the beauty and the K-dash. I'm going to go to done. And then I'm going to go to next and create event and so it'll tell you success just like this and you're gonna hit okay now ladies and gentlemen the event has been created now we're gonna go into the lab and we're gonna check out how it looks like in real life and also check out the settings on the printer and the settings on the actual dashboard so let's go ahead and do that right now all right so let's go ahead and dive into it we're gonna go ahead and spend some time with the iPad head and with the printer right over there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and throughout this uh, video, guys, I'm not gonna use this light, okay? I'm just gonna use the, the side light and the main light right up here, all right? So I'm gonna go open up Snapic and I think we named it uh, the homies. I think we named it for the homies. There it is, for the homies. So let's go ahead and select this. All right, before we move forward, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the printer. Now, the DMP DSRX1HS, damn, that's a mouthful, huh? Check this out. Turn that on. It's connected to my anchor. I made a really dope video on how to set up the WCM Plus along with the DMP and the anchor. So check that video out. That video got a lot of love and it was an, it was an honor for me to finally put that video together because it took me a long time to put everything into motion and have everything kind of stack up nicely. So what it's, what it's gonna do is pretty interesting. And this is what I love about the WCM Plus. So it's gonna print out this photo and this photo contains some really cool information. Well, some of the information is, it's gonna tell me how many photos are left. 293, four x six, WCM plus, this is gonna be the hotspot, and this is gonna be the portal, okay? So now that I know more or less how many photos I have left, I'm ready, okay? It's plenty of photos. Now I'm gonna come over to snap it here. And I'm gonna to go to configure printer. Air print. So here's where I got stuck yesterday. This video was supposed to be released out sooner, but here's where I, where I got stuck, guys. I got stuck because for the standard, which is four by six, 
when I go to choose, okay, I had the four by six, but then I was confused because I thought that leaving it on standard would print out the standard. And when I would print out the two by six, it would print out the two by six, but cut it in half. That's not the case. And here is what I was doing wrong. Well, never mind what I was doing wrong. This is how you should be doing it. So I'm gonna choose, okay, the four by six. And then I'm gonna go to strip right there. And then for the strip, when I go to choose here, I'm gonna choose six by two. David, come on, man, get it right. So now I have four by six for the standard. And for the strip, I have six by two. That's what I could not figure out, man. See guys, I struggle just like you, but I just keep going. And then I'm gonna go to hit save. And let's see what we get. Let's see what uh, hiccups we come across, if any. Slowing up the event. Um, as far as the exposure goes, I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the exposure just a little bit. Uh, the ISO, I'll leave the same. The white balance, the temperature. I'm gonna bring it up a little higher here. A little warmer. And then I'm gonna start the booth. All right, here we go, guys. Still. So that's the design we created together earlier. And then this is the other design. So we'll go ahead and take one photo first with this design right here. And we'll just pose really quick. I set the timer to I think only three, so. Here's another one. And another one. So here are the photos, okay, sweet. Now, for the filter, I can beautify it, but we all know I don't need to beautify it because I'm already a beautiful ass human being. Or we can do a K-dash. That really messes up the whole contrast, right? These nice colors and all of a sudden it's black and white. So I'm gonna leave no filter. And then I'm gonna go to next and it's gonna ask me whether I wanna airdrop or print. Those are the, the options that we selected when we're setting up the event. I'm gonna to go to print right here. It's gonna be one photo. Let's see what pops up. Just contacting printer, preparing. Security warning, the printer, the RX1HS, appears to be a different printer than the previously used printer. That's totally fine, because I know this is my printer. So I'm gonna to go to continue, and then I'm gonna to go to tap to finish, and now we're gonna use this one right here. And then I'm gonna take three photos of this. And I know you guys are thinking, David, what about the printer? Trust me, I'm aware. The printer's right over there is gonna start making sound when that four by six starts printing out. So hit next, print, print. All right, let's go. This is the, the shell that I have on top of it to, look at, to make it look classier because uh, this looks old school. Like, where'd you get this from? Like someone's attic? But when you put this on, guys, it, like I said, it's about presentation. Okay, sweet. So this is a four by six from earlier. And you guys can see the colors are nice, you know? And this is coming from a 12 megapixel camera with decent lighting. Now I'm waiting for the two by six. Let's see how long it takes for the two by six. One thing too that I noticed is that the first few prints are always print out a little bit slower. And after that, something happens between the connection and things start printing out much faster. That's one thing I, I, I realized over time. So I'm not hearing this kick in for the two by six. Did I jump the gun and go too fast? Oh, I did. I forgot to hit the continue. That totally makes sense. So I hit continue. The printer is offline, but it's still connected through AirPrint. So I'm gonna go to continue. All right. And usually it takes about 20 seconds or less because it's a two by six. You'll be able to satisfy, you'll be able to satisfy two attendants uh, with just one photo because it gets split in two. So here we are. Yes, so this is what I call massive success. I think we really did a really good job. You guys were very patient with me as I ran, you know, step by step by step. So good vibes all the way. I hope this video really added uh, newfound information that's 
going to really help you with your photo booth business. My name is David Rodriguez. I started off this channel to help out as many people as I can as possible. Congratulations on buying your photo booth at wholesale price. That's what I taught you guys is how to buy directly from the manufacturer over from China. And the rest is history. However, I will be making another video and then another video going over some things that really need to be discussed. And that's your strategy of marketing, how to make the best out of every event. And maybe you were in a situation where you got a few handful of events and all of a sudden those calls stopped coming in. I'm going to tell you why that could be. And hopefully we continue to grow together. All right, man. Thank you for liking the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Shoo.